I was flying from the East Coast to the West Coast. I was going back to my seat. Uh, I passed by a young man who was looking at porn on his phone. I went to a local university for college. Now, there is this thing that we started doing where we would go to a like an adult store and pick out like the cheesiest porn film, take it back to the dorm, and it was like a like a judging competition. It was so wrong, and I knew it, and I didn't stop watching it or being a part of that group because I didn't want to be othered. I didn't want to be different. I look back and I think, if only your voice was stronger, if only you could have said something. I take that into you know, the, the situation of the young man on the flight because even, what, 36,000 feet in the air, he couldn't get away from these images. That's an addiction. All of these things are just like rushing over me. Like, did I really see what I thought I saw? I'd, I sat down and I just started praying, like, God, what do I do? Should I even do anything? You know, like, is this my responsibility? And as I was praying, I really began to feel protective over him. Do you know who you are? You are God's beloved and most cherished son. And so as I was, you know, thinking of all these things, I thought, like, what, what should I do? I remember seeing a lot of things from Matt Frad and Integrity Restored, um, and even the Culture Project. So I took out my business card and I started writing all of these websites. Fight the New Drug, the Victory app that Life Teen has produced. And as the plane landed, I remember I sent a quick tweet to Matt Brad about like their situation. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go talk to this guy. And what convicted me was Matt saying, um, make sure you do. And I thought, well, dang it. <laughs> if I wanted an L, I just lost it. You know, now I have to do this. We got off the plane and I waited for him. I wrote on the card, you are worth so much more. And as he was coming off the plane, he looked like he was lost. And so I took that as my opportunity. So I was like, hey, are you lost? Are you looking for baggage claim? And he said, no, I'm going on to another flight. I said, oh, okay, hey, listen, I have something to give you and I want you to take my card. And he took it and kind of just looked at me inquisitively and just looked at my card and I said, there's some websites and some things on there that I really think would be beneficial to you. And you know, you don't have to look at it now, you can put it in your backpack, but at some point it'd be great if you look at it. And I, I just want you to know that you are worth so much more. And he just gave me a thanks and I scampered away as quickly as possible. It's true, you know, all of us are, are worth so much more. I, I want him to know that he's worth more. I wish somebody told me that I was worth more. And I have dignity and I was not living within my dignity and, and my dorm mates have dignity and they were not living within their dignity. And if we did, how different this world would be.